One, two, three, fuck it. Hi guys, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're just joining us now, welcome! So for today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, I'm going to just bring you along with us on a few days. So if you don't know, I have a second channel, which is kind of like my vlog channel, but that is a joint channel with my partner, Sean. And I feel like when he's not with us in videos, it's more fitting to put them on my channel, even if they are like vlogs. So this is going to be a main channel video. This is going to be a vlog-a-dog-a-dog. -a -dog. <laughs> vlog -a -dog -a -dog. And basically, there's probably going to be a lot of renovations in this video. There's probably going to be some chips, some chips, some trips to some shops. I'm not really sure what it's going to contain yet but i'm just going to take you along with us for probably like two days um so as you can see the living room in my house has now been stripped if you haven't seen there's a vlog on the second channel where me and sean did started our renovations which is really exciting um, so i have a few people here helping us today i have my grandma here who's helping us with some house stuff my brother here who's helping us and my dad as well they're very kindly giving up their bank holiday to help with some stuff around the house which i'm very grateful for sean is at work absolutely all of this week so you'll probably not be seeing much of him in this video but yeah i'm so so excited to just kind of have a chill vlog with you because i feel like i don't really get the opportunity to speak to you unless i'm doing like this type of video because in a whole video i'm not going to sit and chat shit years for 10 minutes whereas a vlog i get the opportunity to do that so it's a beautiful day today i've got loads of house stuff to do i want to crack on with the painting so i have lots of walls to paint so i really want to get on with the painting in the house i've got the living room to paint the bedroom to paint and the office to paint however the office walls are a little bit more needy than the walls in here so these will probably be the first rooms that i start painting with um but yeah i'm just really excited to kind of have a few days with you and i hope you are too look at how gorgeous my little barbecue hut is looking absolutely love that the sun is shining the barbecue hut is glowing looking cute and there's my brother helping us out with these little headphones on but yeah so this is kind of the wall space at the minute as you can see he hasn't even painted the wall so all of this is going to be painted my dad has just popped to the shop for us to get a few bits and bobs i need like a stanley knife and then he's going to get his some um a mop and bucket and stuff so i popped into the shop but it's all go 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 at the minute and yeah let's just bring you along and what we do okay guys so dad has popped back to his to get his tool bag grandma has done an amazing job at sanding the walls i'll just show you there she is she's been really good at sanding haven't you we'll be calling you sandy uh -huh. <laughs> um so basically the walls in the office are not the best this wall in particular needs quite a bit done to it as you can see there used to be a door that led through to the living room here so this wall isn't great i think we're going to have to get some back in this back wall is going to be wallpapered but these two are going to be painted however they needed a lot of sanding because they were very very textured but now when i run my hand over them even though they don't look great they are quite smooth so that's kind of been a task that grandma's been helping with dad's going to come and polyfill out all the holes brad's upstairs just tidying the bedroom for us and i'm going to make a start on painting the living room white i'm going to start with this back wall here and just try and just whack the paint on and see what happens now i haven't masked and taped the skirt boards because they're actually going to be painted gloss white so i'm not too bothered i have put mask and tape on my little um plugs and stuff as well we're not going to protect the flooring because the flooring is going to be coming up so honestly i'm not bothered if it gets paint on it but yeah so this is the wall that i'm going to get cracking with and just see how the wall takes to the paint i'm thinking probably going to need about two layers but hopefully we'll get away with one so this wall is going to be white this back wall is going to be white this side wall is also going to be white but then this main wall with the log fire on is going to be a teal color so this is kind of not going to be painted today because i haven't selected the color yet this black this black bit on top of the fire is coming off and we want like a wood mantelpiece so we're going to get rid of the tall black bit um, but keep the basin of that. But yeah that's a little update, we better get cracking with some paint.
Okay guys, turns out I'm actually not very good at painting. So, I've left my brother, dad and grandma who's painting the like um, detailing bits and my brother and dad are doing the wall for us. I've left them doing that and I'm popping to the shop because I need a few things. So I am going to being or wicks because I really need some different types of paints for like my woodwork and stuff the skirting boards I need some gloss paint um, and I need some more trays and rollers so I'm heading to B&Q and then I'm going to Greg's because they want some food so I'm going to go and get that I don't really fancy Greg's I'm not sure what I'm going to get for food but I'll have to pick something up because I feel a bit sick it's I don't know how people like like DIY I like kind of interior stuff but actually like the manual labor side of it is not for me and I literally have paint all over my hands literally like it's all over so yeah not looking the best right now but that's what I'm gonna be doing heading off to get some bits and bobby bobs I'm in Wix guys and I just really wanted to show you this kitchen because these are the color of the kitchens that I love it's like this really dark colour navy and then it's got the white marble top. I actually really like this colour and then even the white tiles. This is kind of what I want to replicate in the kitchen. I just think it's um, such a pretty design of a kitchen. I wouldn't add it with a white though, I would have it all dark. But I think it's so beautiful and I love this gold tap and the sink as well. This kitchen is just a little bit of me. I think it's beautiful. How beautiful are these freestanding baths? Me and Sean are definitely not going to be upgrading the bathrooms anytime soon because they're okay. But when we do, I definitely want like a freestanding bath because I think they're beautiful. Okay, so on my to get list, by the way, my glasses hang off like this because the, the steam up with the mask. But I need to get eggshell gloss paint or acrylic gloss paint for the um, skirting boards and stuff. I need radiator paint, I need rollers for the walls, and then some more paint and trays. So I'm going to get these and then, yeah, head back to the house. 43 quid later and I got three items I got more rollers a tray a radiator paint which was fucking expensive I got a tiny little thing for like 12 quid and then I had to get a big one of um like skirting board paint yeah, baby. things just add up like honestly it's all these little things as well that just add up to the price of a house obviously if you buy a house that is more or less done interior wise you're not going to have these costs but for me we looked at some houses that were like really beautiful interior wise but they just weren't for me like there were some gorgeous kitchens and honestly like i just didn't like them and the space that we got in this house for the price that we got it for was just obviously like what we wanted we wanted more space rather than a bit of interior like never buy in a house for interior because you can change it so yeah that's what we're doing we are making it our own and i'm so excited about it but i'm gonna head to greg's i think i'm gonna go to um tesco and see if they've got any of the wicked rain sandwiches in or something because i don't really fancy greg's again because me and sean had it yesterday so yeah not really fancying that today so i'm gonna see if i can get um, we're having lunch now guys I didn't fancy Greg so I've got this from the Tesco Wicked Range dad's got a steak bake and that Brad's having lunch and so is grandma it's a, such a sunny day so we're just gonna chill have a break and then I will update you on the living okay guys so this wall has been painted white as you can see my brother has done such a good job I'm actually so glad he's good at painting because he can help out a lot and then this wall is also um, white as well. And even again, it's drying much better than when we put it on. Definitely need a coat or two, won't we? I'll put that one I'm, I'm getting there, bloody hell. He's like, gives the credit. <laughs> there you go then, there's Dan and his great white wall. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so this one is actually drying well, but they are definitely going to need another coat and I've got some radiator paint as well because that's looking particularly yellow now. Yeah. But um, yeah, so... You see the coloring I've done matches it. Yeah, it does. Well, is that one? Actually, yeah. That hasn't had the coloring paint No, yet, right? so you can see what it looks like. But yeah, we're going to... Dad's going to show us how to fill kind of the little holes in these walls up here and then it means brad can crack on and paint this wall because he's actually really good at it so we're going to do some polyfiller
Okay, so I've been going along all the office walls with polyfiller to get them filled in and then I'll need to give them a sand where I haven't like made it that smooth. But just there were so many holes from like things. So this is how we're getting on. You can see all the patches of holes. It's just such a mess, but I'm excited to get painting these walls because I think it will really lift up this area. My dad's upstairs just hammering the holes ready for us to go up and polyfiller. And then in here, we've obviously, my brother's back on to painting this wall, which is looking really good. Grandma's doing all the like detailing painting, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, this wall's not getting painted white because this is going to be a teal or navy color. Hey guys, so I am so happy with the progress of today. Brad is an absolutely amazing painter. So Brad, if your trade ever falls through. <laughs> um, anyway, this is what we've done. Well, what? I mean, I did the detailing and a lot of sanding, but really the painting's been down to dad, grandma and Brad, but I have helped with the last wall. But anyway, this is this wall, which is all white. We've got a first layer on, which we are gonna need a second layer of them all, but they're already looking so much better. This is obviously the second wall. And then we've got the last wall, which is the first wall we actually painted. It does look quite patchy, but once the second layer gets on, I think we're going to be looking really good. And I've started to do the, don't, it's not a skirting board, but like the upper bits up here, I've actually given a layer. And like I said earlier, this wall is going to be a colour, so we're not going to be painting this wall. And we'll need to eventually paint this um, I don't know what it's called, but this panelling in the middle will need a paint as well, maybe. But maybe not, because we're not painting the ceiling, because it's recently been done. But yeah, so as you can see, there is like a few patches where the kind of wall is showing through. But once we get a second layer on, I think we're going to be looking really good. Don't worry about the floor, because the floor is coming up. And I got some gloss paint today, so we will be painting all the skirting boards gloss white or kind of satin white eventually. Okay, guys, so we took the black panels off the fire. <laughs> Sean's here, by the way. Yeah. He's finished work. Um, he's got proper work pants on. It's when you know you're a grafter. <laughs> what? We've got all over. Anyway, this is what we've done. I'm a bit shocked. <laughs> I didn't expect the wall to look like this. Um, so this is all going to need to be filled. Oh my god, it looks so ugly. Oh, <laughs> like look at it all. Okay, anyway, so we're going to have to fill this, but I think this will probably be something that Sean will do Thursday when he's off work. A and Brad are going to leave the house now because we've been here quite a while. And we're going to be coming back early tomorrow. We're probably going to be coming back for like nine, half nine. So we're going to be here early. I've got editing to do. I need to have a bath because I'm covered in paint. So I think we're going to leave. I think Sean's going to stay for an hour or so and maybe do a few things, are you? Uh, are you going to uh, try and fill that thing well he's going to try and do a few things but yeah so i'm going to head home look at the bloody state of us morning guys so it is day two of this vlog and i'm back at the house the sun is shining on my little barbecue hut it looks so cute um so we are back yet today we're going to start with doing the second layer on the living room because obviously we've done the first layer and it doesn't look too bad but it definitely does need a second layer so we're going to start with doing that so i just thought i would give you an update so basically um we have done a second layer in the living room of paint which is good so the white is coming together now nicely obviously we're not doing the collard wall yet because me and sean um oh she's me and sean haven't picked the color yet we're going to go and do that on thursday when he is off work 
so I have got my brother Brad started on the bedroom because there's white walls in there but the thing is is the walls in there are more textured so they're actually like I don't know how well the paint's going to take I need to do some more sand and I think which I'll have to do when I go back to the house but I've popped out to get us some lunch I think we're gonna, I'm going to go to Subway and get food because we're both hungry because we've been there since early this morning I had my old friend from work Barbara pop over for a cup out it's lovely to see her and show her the house and then we've got chatting with the neighbours again so you know all this adult and stuff is happening but yes yeah, so I'm going to go to Subway I need to go to B&Q because we need more paint we've used a full tub of white paint on the living room so we definitely need more so I'm going to go and get more white paint and then I think I'm going to be picking grandma up again I think she's coming back to the house because she does the detailing paint work so like around the skirting boards and stuff which is really good at so I think she's going to come up for a few hours and do an afternoon little shift of painting for with it guys so grandma's here helping another day of paint and she's been a great help but she's also sussed something out a very exciting house update so when we bought the house literally the actually the first day we brought grandma she discovered an apple tree right in the other fence which I hadn't even seen so I knew we had apples and then the other day when my mum was here in the front garden we've got a pear tree which there was little pears on it which I didn't even notice but there's more grandma's discovered more I've got a full bloody fruit farm going on here this tree in the garden which obviously we've missed them but this is a plum tree obviously they've gone kind of old and that now because we didn't even know to pick them but grandma found a nice one and she said it was delicious so we've got this little plum tree which i'm very excited about and he has what apples you can see there's loads of them which is amazing there's so many apples but then the next thing that we're seeing at the top of the garden yeah he has where um pompous grass or whatever it's called people keep telling us what it's called and i keep forgetting but I've also got raspberries. Look at them, they are so cute. There's probably gonna be way more buried in here because I actually noticed as well on here, there's a Christmas tree in that bush of stuff. So I've got my own Christmas tree bloody growing. So there's probably more fruit stuff in here. So I'm very excited about all the fruit that I'll be growing in my garden and eating. Okay guys, I'm getting way too excited, but I'm gonna try the first apple produced from my house. I mean, Brad's had one, he really liked it. My grandma's had plenty because she piled a few, but- I haven't ate them. Oh, you not ate them. It's my first bite. Let us see if it's a good apple. Mmm. It's nice. I've just given it, well, my brother gave it a rinse for his the good apple. One more nick that when he good looking from. I can't taste me plums because she had that, but you said it was nice, wasn't it's it? Lovely. A lovely Beautiful. juicy one. So hopefully when I grow more plums, maybe will it be next year now before I get any more? Next year. So the only plum I had this year, you went and ate. Well, there's still one left on yeah, there. Yeah, but it's got holes in it, that one. Well, cut the holes up. No. Leave the rest. So Grandma got to test the plums this year, then I didn't. But there is raspberries, which I've seen a few good ones, so I will get to try my raspberries before you. <laughs> but there's also little pears as well, which um, my mum took some of. So I haven't tried the pears yet either, but I'm so excited. I've got like a fruit farm in my house, and I'm very excited about it. the samples up that I got from B&Q um, to kind of give myself an image. Now I really want this back wall to have a brick effect but I wasn't sure which way I wanted to go so I've got some red brick here which kind of looks a bit like a distressed brick. I'm rating this one a strong 8 out of 10. I really like the look of this one but Sean doesn't even know I've got these yet so I need to get his opinion. This white one I think could look smart but I'm not the biggest fan of it so I don't know I'm not keen on that. I kind of like the black one. Um, I think it looks, Brad's shaking his head at the black one. I think it looks quite nice, but yeah, I'm not too keen on this black slated one though. And then again, this red brick, I really do like, I am personally more inclined to the red brick ones. I think they've got like a nice warm tone of them and I really like them. But these are kind of the samples that I've stuck up. So I'll see what Sean thinks of them when he sees them. Grandma's coming to judge my wallpaper samples. I'll 
This is the bedroom and you put the uh -huh. putting one of them on the bedroom wall. Like. Yeah, it's a feature, so like a brick effect wall. They're not very bedroom bedroom in that way. Well, it just depends how you want your bedroom. That's how I want it. I want, it. I want like a brick effect wall, so like a. Well, you're not going to preference for one of them yourself. I have. I have, yeah. Like, if it was me, it'd be that one. Me. That's the one me and Brad both liked. Uh, mm -hmm. I think the warm tone bricks look the best. Yeah. 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 Okay, so yeah, Dad comes to give his opinion on my samples. Alright, um, for that wall? Feature wall, yeah, and the bed will be there. Um, what colour are these walls called? White. I think probably that one. Oh, oh he's the only one. one. Everyone has said they don't like them too. We all like this one. I want it really like warm looking, like cottage vibes. I just think that's outside for it. Yeah, well that's what it's meant to look like. Yeah. Like cottage, because then I'm going to have my sliding barn door on that wall. Right. And then I want this to all look kind of brick brick and cottage. So the only person left to now judge is Sean, so hopefully he'll come after work and I will get his opinion on them. me colour samples on, Grandma's going to have a look. I have an incline of a one that I'm much preferring straight away. You don't look like you like any of them. Well, I'm just trying to visualise them with all the one. Yeah. Um, well, if it was me, I'd go for that one. Okay. Okay. I assume that's not the one you No, I'm preferring the dark and navy one, but we need, I need to let them all dry down fully to yes, see what they look cause, like, because they, they can change quite a bit. They can, but I like the dark navy, this is kind of what I was looking at. But we'll see how they well, dry I down. More turquoise, so yeah. That would be my preference in yeah. the so. Yeah. Well, we'll see how they dry down and. Um, yeah. Okay, so Dad is coming to judge my colours. Mm, that one. mm. That's more green, so that makes you want green. Anybody else want coffee? <laughs> what? That one's me go-to at the minute, like. Too dark. No, I want it dark. It's the point, they're too light for me. Mm. Anybody else want coffee? I'm getting them. Do you want one? I'll have one with the sweetness, is it? I haven't got sweetness. Oh, it's alright, man. Well, I do you not like the one I made you the other day? Not really. <laughs> right, Sean's getting his first eye impressions of my wallpaper strips. Uh, I've seen one of the only ones. Yes, okay, that was good, good. That's what I picked. I'll look at the top of the wall. So, which one do you think you like best? That's I've got a favourite. Uh, you got a preference? Like Alright, mine's the other one. I like uh, it more realistic looking. Uh, yeah, Do you think? Uh, I think Do you think the brick on that wall? Are you happy with it? Uh -huh. You don't seem too certain. Do you not like it? What are the ones? These ones. Yeah. Nah. Not like it. Nah. Guys, I am so, so, so happy the vegan burger is back at KFC. Well, it's back at a local one to me. And I'm so excited. I miss this thing so much. I know that these aren't classified as vegan. However, it is just because they haven't got a dedicated prep area. And I eat accidentally vegan stuff. So I'm fine with that. But, yeah, I'm so excited. 
Hi guys, so it's day three and I'm back at the house. So today, Grandma and Brad are both here again. My hair looks like a bloody lion's mane. Grandma is doing the radiators in the living room. So she's starting to paint them because I got the proper radiator paint. I'm gonna go and do all the detailing in this room. Obviously, we've done the first layer of like wall, but the detailing hasn't been done. So I'm gonna go and do all of that. And then Brad's gonna start with the second layer on the white walls. I've selected a, um, a wallpaper that I really like for the back wall, but my look, one of the ones that I like, or the only one that I've seen that I like is so, so, so expensive. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. I'm really, really fed up today. I'm just not in the mood today at all. Um, obviously, as you know, I've been here since Sunday doing work on the house. Um, well to be fair actually since Friday last week because if you haven't seen I did um, upload the first renovation vlog on the second channel with Sean Friday, Saturday, Sunday we were here we were removing cupboards he was fixing a fan and then we started stripping walls that was done Friday, Saturday, Sunday and then Monday I came back with my brother Brad my grandma and my dad and we're doing painting um, and ever since Monday, Tuesday and today's Wednesday it's just been repetitive of painting this now i knew buying this house that there was a lot of diy work that needed done i'm not delusional and i know that diy takes a long time but i'm the type of person as well who would rather pay someone of the trade to do it so it looks good um and i just i know with paint you've got to be really persistent and you've really got to like just keep going with it keep layering it up until it looks the way you want it to look but like with wallpapering, I've been, not arguing with Sean, but we've been debating because he wants us to try and attempt the wallpapering. I am not wanting to do that because I've never wallpapered in my life. My mum's done it before and she said it's actually quite hard to do, especially if you're getting a pattern, matching it up and stuff, which I am doing. So um, I'm just a bit stressed about it all. There's so much work that needs done and I don't deal with like having long to-do lists very well. I like mine short because I just don't sleep well at night when I know that there's so much I need to do. It's just something that I've always struggled with. The wallpaper that I want for this wall, the one I found online, is ridiculously expensive. I want a leaf print banana wallpaper, but some of them that I'm seeing online and like Dunelm and B&Q, I don't like the B&Q ones because they've got like a glittery background. I want it like matte. There's this absolutely gorgeous one on Loft and Us online, but it is £98 a roll and that's just extortionate. But because I only need it for that wall there, I actually may only need two rolls. So I am maybe tempted just to get it. Um, because this is going to be my office as well, it will be like a business expense, which obviously I still have to fork out the initial cost. But I do really want that wallpaper. And I think it's beautiful. I think it's a beautiful wallpaper as a film and background as well. I think it's just so gorgeous. So I think I might end up forking out for it if I only need the two rolls. I've tried to measure that wall three times today. I am literally like thick when it comes to stuff like that. The tape measure just had too many numbers on. At one point I told the woman, because the woman on the um, Instagram is actually helping us decide how many rolls I would need, so she asked us to measure the wall. At one point I told her my wall was fucking 83 metres long, I mean it's not. And then I was like, okay, actually it's centimetres, it's not. I don't know what the hell it is. So I've sent her a picture of the tape measure and I'm waiting for her to get back to us. Um, but yeah, so I had a fanny on with that this morning and that really pissed us off because I'm just shitting it. So that really annoyed us because I couldn't work out how big that wall was or how much I needed roll wise. Um, if it's just two rolls, I think I'm probably going to get the one that I really want. If not, if it becomes more than two rolls, I'm definitely not paying more than that. So I will have to find a different one. Um, but yeah, I'm just a bit fed the fuck up a DIY now but that's what it is and i just think there's so much needs done i need to go around in the living room and paint all the skirting boards because they're still the wood color and obviously i want them white i did get the proper wood paint for them so i'm just a little bit pissed off my brother's doing like just a few hours today and then i'm going to take him home and i'm going to take my grandma home as well and then i think i'm going to go to a few shops and just have a look at wallpapers and stuff. I just need to like get away from doing the physical DIY. I want to just like go and look at wallpapers or just something to give us inspiration. Um, so yeah. I'm 
Good morning guys. This vlog has kind of became a weekly vlog. It wasn't going to be a weekly vlog. It was only going to be like a few days. But we're on Thursday already now. So I might as well just make it a weekly vlog at this point. And I feel like yesterday I literally didn't speak to you as hardly because I was in such a huff. Um, I just got sick of the DIY. Mm. I'm back at the house. Sean is off work today. So he is here. And I've just made with both a cup of And this morning when we came to the house through the door we had a little house card and it says like new home and it's from some of our neighbours so that is so so cute but um i've just made coffees sean is plastering the wall around the fireplace so i've just got myself a little black coffee in my booby mug and then i made sean a white coffee so i'll bring you along and update you with whatever happens today and who's cutting the trees Take what are trees? Well, his well, trees. Like, oh, did you see a picture of him? I had to see Blake's forehead. <laughs> mm, well, anyway, so I'll let you. I'll update you on anything that we do a day. My lips are all really chapped. Mm. I've literally not done anything housework wise today. Sean is plastering up the fireplace, but I've just decided that I'm just not doing it today. I've had enough. But I'm actually set up in the little office. I'm sitting on the floor and I'm set up doing some work. Um, yeah, so this is the first time I'm working in my office. Obviously, it's not the way I want my office to look yet, but it's 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 cute. I'm cozy. I'm sitting on a little sheet that my grandma gave us for the pain. But yeah, it's just what I'm doing at the moment. I've been doing it the last few hours. I've just been editing. Um, and now I just need to do a thumbnail. We're going to Dunelm because um, I've seen that there's a leaf print paper in Dunelm. And I want to see what it looks like in person. Because if it looks nice and I like it, then I would rather pay that than the 98 quid a roll for the one that I really want. So we're going to go and have a look at that. And we're probably just going to have a look at the home stuff as well and just see if there's anything. And I think we might be going to B&Q to get the blue paint for the living room wall. We, well, I didn't, Sean was at the house today and he plastered around the fireplace and the office wall and I think you're going to sand them tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah. So hopefully they would be um, okay to get working with on the weekend, so hopefully I'll be able to paint the blue wall and um, if I can get a hand, maybe wallpaper the office wall. Okay guys, so we're in Dunelm, I'm having a look at the furniture stuff, but I um, came in just for the wallpaper really. Oh, there's some Fablon wallpaper. Yeah. Just on that tiny little rack. Oh, look at that grey little thing. Oh, they're here, man. There's a few here. I thought they had loads. Unless it's just online. Okay, we found a roll of the leaf one. I actually do quite like it. Do you like it? Well, where is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's in the sale. £19.20 guys I found the leaf that's what it looks like and I think I might get that one because that's 20 roll, 20 quid a roll compared to the 98 quid a roll guys I've decided to get this wallpaper we're getting three rolls because I might use it elsewhere and it's only 19 20 roll compared to my 98 quid a roll exactly so I mean honestly I do really like it because it's got a mixture of dark and light green and I do really like it and I was thinking we could even use it in the little bathroom do you reckon? Downstairs I think it could look lush. Oh I got my wallpaper, have <laughs> you seen them little socks? Yeah. So I got the wallpaper and Dunelm um, just because obviously the price. I really did like the one from Loft and Us but I can't justify 200 quid for one wall. That's like ridiculous isn't it? So I ended up getting three rolls of the one in Dunelm because I'm not exactly sure how much we need but I think it'll only be two rolls which would have been like 40 quid but I got an extra one because that was the last three there and I didn't want to be short so I've got an extra one which we can do like the downstairs toilet I think would really brighten up that area as well we could do that eventually and just keep a hold of it you've seen the muckle size of that spot on my head my dermatitis has flared right up as well anyway so I got that one which I do actually really like the pattern of it so I'm going to pop that one on the back wall and it's actually it's a self um, sticky one so it might actually be easier to apply than a one that you have to stick to you reckon? <laughs> Don't know, it'll be harder. 
okay guys so i'm gonna end this video here um because i feel like it's gonna be really long and i want to edit it and get it up asap for years but yeah i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more content like this where it's just more bringing you along with this and without further ado, i'll see you very shortly for another video bye